Hey data lovers, so I am back with another amazing tech video for all the aspiring data professionals and in today's video we will deep dive into the world of low code data ingestion pipeline which is very very trending now and a very new approach of orchestrating data pipelines with the help of declarative workflows. Also I will be discussing about an amazing open source data orchestration platform which is Kestra and with the help of Kestra we can create a scalable low code data ingestion pipeline within few minutes and within few clicks and the main beauty of Kestra is it allows developers to create declarative workflows in order to orchestrate complex data ingestion pipeline and if you are also a fan of creating data ingestion pipelines within few minutes without any extensive coding then Kestra is the best choice for it so watch this super informative video till the very end because I will be covering a end to end demo for the same also in the end of this video I will be giving you one exercise which you need to complete because I also need to check your passion for the data engineering and building the data pipelines solving the complex orchestration problems so make sure to watch it till the end but before going into the actual demo part let's discuss why low code data pipelines are becoming so popular and what are the main advantages of it the low code data pipelines actually offers the world of benefits to both developers and organization it actually speeds up the development process because no extensive coding is actually required and the dev effort would be very very less it reduces the need of specialized skills for an example the company is working on a specific framework which is implemented in java or it can be coded in java so as an organization you need to invest in a resource who knows java very well and he will be creating the data pipelines using that framework but if we are using such kind of frameworks which allows designing the low code data pipelines then these type of dependencies will not be there and on these type of platforms maintaining the data pipelines is way more easy because it won't be a such type of pipeline which will be dependent on multiple components multiple failure points so that we had to code every piece separately host it somewhere execute it somewhere orchestrate it and maintaining it so with the help of low code data pipelines these challenges can definitely be eliminated so how Kestra is actually helping in this process let's discuss about its core capabilities so Kestra actually provides so many impressive features it is a fully managed orchestration platform and the beauty is pipelines can be created very very quickly with the help of a rich set of built-in plugins so you just need to use those plugins and just declare your pipelines and it's done and this is not it if you have a need of creating your own custom plugins that facility is also there just create your custom plugins and integrate and your pipeline will be ready it provides seamless integrations with multiple sources and things like sql no sql databases file systems cloud systems apis kafka messaging queues and many more it has the capability of advanced error handling and supports dynamic workflows too Kestra makes it simple to create execute and maintain data pipelines and different pipeline components can be created and orchestrated with the help of yaml type of configurations and that is why it would be really quick declarative workflow approach actually focuses on defining the desired outcome and leaving the how part on Kestra and this allows for quick adoption of changing requirements without rewriting some complex code in this way Kestra is simplifying pipeline design process making it easily understandable and modifiable for both technical and non-technical members in the team so now let's get into the actual demo part i know you guys are eagerly waiting for it and there you will see how we can use kestra as a platform and how easily i will be declaring a workflow with the help of yaml configurations so here is our amazing open source declarative data orchestration platform kestra i will be providing this link in the description so that you can quickly go through it install it in your local or if you want to play around it you want to use its different feature you will be having an option for the live demo which i am also going to use to showcase that demonstration part you can access its documentation page and blog pages anytime this is the documentation page of it where all the details are mentioned tutorials are also given fundamentals so you can go through everything and it would be really easy for you to understand and here you will be getting the flow examples and we have the developer guide so it's easy to understand and another thing you can go to the github repository of Kestra if you are an open source contributor and you love doing it make sure to put your hands into it and try this out and also here you will be getting the complete guide 
what Kesra is all about, example flows, how to do that, how to set it up in the local using the Docker and all the relevant links and documentation you will be getting here. So now quickly let me go into the demo part, live demo as we sign into it. So this is the cool and very interactive UI of Kestra and as you can see we have a home page. We can start creating our first flow and we already have created couple of demo examples just to show you all that how we create and declare these workflows. It's already there you can see uh, this will be the dashboard where we can see how many flows are there, their execution, how many failures occurred, how many times failures occurred, all those things we can see. And this is the execution tab where we can see the execution of each workflow and access their logs. We will come on to that part as well. The task running status, we can get it from here. Logs for each component of any workflow, we can get it from here. But I know you guys want to see how to actually do it, how to create the low code data ingestion pipeline orchestrated in just few clicks. So let me show you that example and we are going to pick this one MySQL to BigQuery. We will be bringing some data from a MySQL table in between we will process it and we'll dump it into the BigQuery and on top of BigQuery we can do the dashboarding. So a very good example for the data ingestion pipeline. So. If we go to the topology, we can see I already have created this workflow. I'll show you the implementation part. So these are the different pipeline components here. We are running the SQL query and this step is about storing the query result in the JSON form on Kestra's infrastructure. Then this step loading the data in the BigQuery and the last step we are executing a query on BigQuery table just to see the row count. So these are the execution section where we can see all these executions have already been successful. We will come to that one as well just to see how we can go inside each execution and find out the logs and the output of each pipeline component. And this is the main part where I will be talking about the cool features of it. And here you can see our declarative workflow and within just few lines we have created this data pipeline without even doing any extensive coding in Java, Python, Scala and dealing with all those complexities just hardly 30, 34 lines of configurations we have to make in order to build that pipeline. So this is the actual declarative approach of creating and executing our pipeline orchestrating them. So what are the common segments of it and how they are actually working it. So this is the namespace part. For this workflow, this is the namespace we have given. This is the workflow name and these are the tasks which we need to perform. And at the end, at the end of these tasks, there could be two things. We want to probably trigger this workflow on the manual basis, right? Manually, we want to trigger it or schedule it on some frequency. Third way could be we want to trigger this workflow if some XYZ workflow which is already running either it's successful or failure it means maintaining those kind of dependencies if workflow B is dependent on A if that execution is successful only then this workflow should trigger so in this way declaring all those trigger options we can definitely create those kind of dependencies so our first task is query the MySQL table so this is the query task of this type and this is the JDBC endpoint for the MySQL service this is the username and from this family table we are pulling out all the records and then the next section is this part where the query outcome will be converted into the JSON form and will be stored and here you can see the JSON writer it is writing that data into the Kestra's infrastructure and this part is the load part and here you can see we are using this plugin for the big query and here this is our destination table which is defined under this schema and this is the table name and we are writing our data in the form of JSON to this BigQuery table and from where this output is actually coming. So outputs.json.uri. So I will actually show you in the execution tab that what this variable actually means. So once we go back into the executions part, there will be a tab of outputs. Within that, these 
tasks right with their id names will be mentioned and the outcome of those tasks will be defined under the uri section so this is how this variable is actually coming and we are doing the truncate and then writing the whole data so it's a full load sort of process and after that we are doing the count task and querying the big query table and this feature i definitely love it when i explored this feature on kesra i absolutely loved it and this is something which is really helpful for the developer so for an example i want to write about this one this task query right so what i can do even if i start typing about it automatically the documentation for this plugin will be mentioned here so what we can do we can go through it what type of configurations we actually need to mention because this is the main part where developers most time actually goes in right if let's say we want to write any function we want to write any custom class to connect with a database and pull the data from there we need to go here and there just do the google search stack overflow look at the parameter or go through the official documentation page of it to read everything about it so here everything is there on your editor itself so just go through about it what kind of configurations we can mention here what is the meaning of it their descriptions so this is super lovely i literally loved it so this way you can see how quickly we define our pipeline and let's go through other options like revisions if any changes we have done in our workflow so we will be able to see the differences logs we will be able to see here like if there is any error in any of the process and if this particular flow is dependent on something so those kind of dependencies will also be present here so now let me take you to the executions part and let's see what we get there and once i click on this part the details we will be able to see different details here so let's go through with each and every option the overview and the gan chart means how much time a particular task is actually taking this could be a really beneficial in order to determine where your pipeline is actually taking a lot of time and in that way you can even apply the optimization so this is super helpful and under this section we can see the logs of each component and this is our dependency part and this is the outcome and uh, here you can see this is the task under the uri so this download tab will give us the result what was pulled from the mysql table and this is the outcome of the json task what it has produced and here at the end we can see this is the total count from the big query table so this is how kesra manages the input and output of different different tasks and here the metrics part we can even see the different matrices of different task as well and that would be really helpful when it comes to the data accuracy data validations part so even in the real time that can be done quickly without executing our pipeline so many times and verify our end output so the outcome and the matrices for every component and task will be here and that is super helpful so let's say the load part where we are loading the data in the big query table so this is the output rows the bad records the duration total it took input bytes input files output in the same way we can check for the json as well how many rows it actually pulled and this will be the overall matrix like including all the rows it gives a lot of insights and i think this is super amazing i have seen these kind of features for the very first time on any platform else it is all about debugging by yourself just go inside the logs try to figure out the logs search for it but here everything is there and as a developer this would be my expectation that there should be a kind of platform which can make my life easy and for kesra it's a thumbs up so as i mentioned in the beginning that at the end of the video i will be giving you one exercise which you need to do and paste your solution maybe in the form of github repository link in the comment section and the problem statement it you need to do a very simple thing just load some data in the google sheet and write this type of declarative workflow in order to pull the data from google sheet and do some filtration and load it into the big query or any sync you want to use it's up to you and just to help you with that the documentation for such type of problem statement is already available on kesra platform so quickly you need to explore it implement it and showcase your solution in the comment section after this demo just like me you would have also found kesra very interesting 
and impressive when it comes to the declarative way of data orchestration when it comes to the declarative workflows and creating low code data pipelines in just few clicks if you find it impressive then i would suggest try your hands with it and get the actual feel of it so that is what i had for this video i'm pretty sure if you are aspiring data engineer then you would have loved this topic and in future you want me to bring these kind of amazing open source platforms tutorials if you want me to create another tutorial of it like complete demonstration building everything from scratch writing it on terminal let me know in the comment section i would be much more happy to do that if you find it informative as well then give so many likes to this video so that this amazing tool can reach to our data engineering community and i will see you guys really soon with another amazing tech video till then just keep exploring data